ain't going back. Now I'm gonna buy into all that. Hey, hey, ain't gonna hide. Gonna let all the fears lie. Go, mother, they just saw my son. Got a whole of the loving going inside. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to Odyssey of Truth Overboard. It's been a little while. Campbell and I have both been swimming up to this point. We're at number four, which may be the last one for the Overboard series, not that we don't have more Odysseys to go on after this. And it's something that we've discussed and I've been looking forward to recording pretty much since the beginning, Ship of Fools. I figure finally, finally, I have the ability to say I am 100% qualified to talk on this subject. <laughs> so, Campbell, yeah. hello. Hello, Lorenzo. Hello. Um, yeah, there was a song back in the 80s, wasn't there? Ship of Fools. There was. What they keep saying, I don't want to stay on this ship of fools. I think I think a lot of us are feeling like that at the moment. We're starting to see that, that that's what it was, right? We used to sort of think that, um, you know, reality society was the be all and the end all and was reality and all this kind of stuff. And now we've got this perspective that we can look at it from a, de a detached position and go, hmm, that's a ship of idiots. I don't want to be part of it. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it, you know, we'll take the analogy. It's like a ship that's on a, a trip, it's going somewhere, it's on water or ocean, could be the air, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the ship is made of something, a substance. The ship is navigated by something, someone. The ship has a destination chosen by something, someone's, uh, you know, otherworldly consciousness, yours or not. So if you put it all together and you start looking at this analogy, I think it's a good place to start asking the questions. You know, obviously no one's going to say they want to be in a ship full of idiots. Probably everyone would say, no, thank you. I'm guessing. Uh, but if you start to look at the qualities of the ship and, uh, you know, the construction therein, perhaps you'll get a better understanding of what we mean here by ship of fools. Mm. I mean, and of course, the analogy goes across to, you know, the law, right? Maritime, um, the court system, uh, even just the words of, of a ship, you know, um, the back is stern, right? Very stern. And at the front, um, bow, right? Bow down, right? Um, you know, all these things. And, and so we're on this ship and it can seem, you know, when you're on a ship and, you, and you're going across the ocean and, and it's hard and you don't really like it and, and you spot some land or an island off the, you know, out of, your, out of the eye, it's, you know, some people might jump and go, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to that island. I don't care. I'm, I'm off. I'm starting a new life. But for a lot of others, it's like, yeah, I want to go, but. Oh, it looks like a long way. Oh, what if there's sharks in the water? What about this? You know, they do feed me here. I do have a bed. It kind of sucks, but you know, and, and I think that that's where we are, right? What do you, what do you, do? you know, where do you really stand? Are you prepared to stand up and go, I'm, I'm going off to that island. I'm building something better, something new, or are you going to stick with what they, you know, what they're offering you? Because everything's an offer. And this is mm. the thing, you can stay in our system and, and you'll get this and you'll get this. And then they won't tell you about all the, you know, all the other things that you'll get, like diseases and things. Uh, so that's where we are, guys. Um, and this is the choice. What are you going to do? Stay with the ship of fools or jump off and, and go start, start building, you know, a new civilization, a new something um, that not on the ship, right? Um, don't, get, don't get caught on the ship. Yeah, I mean, you got to understand, or I've taken a while to understand, all ships have a destination. Uh, maybe the destination is nowhere, could be going in circles. I mean, that could be its own uh, problem or its own uh, concern. If, if that's what you think is happening in society, it could have a destination for a bad place in relation to what you think is bad, or perhaps you've lied to about the good place in relation to you know who you think uh, is sharing information. But how many of us have talked with the captain? How many of us have gone into the, the forefront of the ship? How many of us have found out where he's getting his marching or her marching or, or their marching orders from? You know, who is dictating? What are they using to navigate? What, what sort of charts? And, uh, you know, basically, why are you on that ship? Like, you know, as Campbell said, you're birthed. You've come through the birth canal. You know, your mother uh, has given you birth. Uh, and so here you are on this ship that we all get launched into, so to speak, whether we want to or not, it seems. But how many of us are asking the hard questions as to why we're calling it a ship of fools, even? I mean, fool 
tool rule they're all synonymous you know and and i don't want to go to one side or the other and say everyone's an idiot even though you know if you act idiotically you know you can make your own conclusions from there but you could be a useful fool you could be uh you know a fool means to be tricked as well you know so in other words you've been fooled into why or what's going on and all of these things are questions i strongly feel and campbell strongly feels from you know the talks we've had over the years are questions you need to answer for yourselves to understand if you want to continue on the ship of fools, which is what I would say normal society is, in my opinion, and uh, you know what the alternatives therein might be if you do decide to jump overboard and go for that island or whatever else is in your mm -hmm. or on your horizon. Yeah, um, it's a good point. You know who talk who, who talks to the captain? Who knows where this ship's going? Because we know that the captains of of ships they don't own the ships. That they just they're just given it and they're told what to do. So even the person, you know, so called that, that that is put up in front of us as as the people you know directing this, they're still not directing it. So, you know, what do we really know about this ship ride? Right? <laughs> um, it's a, you know you could sort of put it back to the story we're given of Australia, right? And all these convicts just thrown on a ship and taken off, and and they don't really have a choice, and we're going here and blah blah blah. Um, and that destination, you know, I mean, wasn't good for them, right? Because um, they ended up having to work for their whole life. So, you know, this is a thing, like, do we want to stay on this ship and just say, well, is it going to be okay? Will we get through? Um, or do we want to jump off? And, you know, a lot of people talk about mutinies, right? Um, well, let's just, let's just wake everyone up and we'll take over the ship. Well, like I said before, the captain, even if you get rid of the captain and the crew, they don't own the ship. And sooner or later, the people who are behind, you know, that and own it will, will start to come out. And, 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 and so it's much better to just leave it, let, get, let them have their ship and let's go off and build a new ship or, you know, and build on an island, do something different that's, that's got nothing to do with them. Because even if we, you know, if we, if we sort of steal like their boat, right, and we take off and we make another little ship, it's still based on what, it's still a reality based on what we've been given it. So it's just going to end up in the same kind of area. You know, it's, it's like, unless you change the base and where you're starting from, you can't really end up somewhere different. It's just going to be like an overlay. So, so this is the thing guys, Who, who's ruling this ship, right? Um, you know, we, because we're coming up to elections, especially in Australia. And I think, you know, obviously America, um, it seems to be um, around the realm at the moment, lots of elections and everyone's like, well, let's just, you know, let's let's get new people in. Let's get new people in. That is literally just um, getting a new captain for the boat. The, the people who own the boat aren't going to change the direction. They're going to go, oh, these people don't like this captain. Quick, quick, let's, let's give him a new captain and he'll be nice and he'll be nice. But the ship is still going to where the ship is going. Hello, everyone. Hi. Freedom Shift. Whether you want to meet people, whether you want to develop content, whether you want to do business, whether you want to do all three, I know from experience and what we have going on, Campbell and I and the other people joining our hub can help you out. And we just want to grow it and we want to grow it with good people who have good intentions and, and make it a hub where we can all learn off each other, we can share ideas and, and cross promote each other and basically all help each other you know, build a future that's not reliant on the system, right? The system that, that put us in this situation in the first place. People have asked us why we've started Freedom Shift. I've been asked many times and some people have maybe misinterpreted why we're doing what we're doing with our Freedom Shift. So Campbell and I are making this video to be very clear. Our intent, straightforward, good people doing good things for good reasons. I mean, this is a crux of it all is we all know, guys, we need to build a new world. So that's really, you know, what, what we're trying to do here is put our energy into helping that happen. So, yeah, if you've got an idea, um, something you want to do, even if, if you're not completely sure of what you want to do, but you want to do something, if you're an action person and you want to get out there and start doing, and, and um, we'll see what the possibilities are. And, and we've definitely got something um, that we can offer you. Yeah, there's no obligation to chat. We don't mind if you say yes. We don't mind if you say no. We're simply happy to share what we can do together, what we feel will work. And this is our system. I'm going to be very clear. This is a system Campbell and I are setting up. There's a few other people working with us. 
want to be successful. We want to make a nice community. We want to love you. We want to be loved. Campbell and I have been figuring our way through this. We're happy to share what we figured out. We're happy for your input and your experience and your intelligence as well. We figure together we'll be stronger than apart. It's the old Zen saying, maybe it's a parable. Maybe it's Kung Fu. I'm not sure. One arrow, easy to break. A whole bunch of arrows, harder to break. That's how the monsters take over the world. They act together, armies, police, politicians, all in cahoots you know, moving in one direction. So as we can do that as well, but in the, with better people for better reasons, we will also be unstoppable, unbreakable, and our destiny could be unavoidable, but it's not going to happen without some effort. So, you know, come on, join us. We're happy to have you. And got nothing to lose except your slavery, in my opinion. Whether you want to meet people, whether you want to develop content, whether you want to do business, whether you want to do all three, I know from experience and what we have going on, Campbell and I and the other people joining our hub can help you out. And we just want to grow it and we want to grow it with good people who have good intentions and and make it a hub where we can all learn off each other. We can share ideas and, and cross promote each other and basically all help each other, you know, build a future that's not reliant on the system, right? The system that, that put us in this situation in the first place. People have asked us why we've started Freedom Shift. I've been asked many times, and some people have maybe misinterpreted why we're doing what we're doing with our Freedom Shift. So Campbell and I are making this video to be very clear. Our intent, straightforward, good people doing good things for good reasons. I mean, this is a crux of it all is we all know, guys, we need to build a new world. So that's really, you know, what, what we're trying to do here is put our energy into helping that happen. So yeah, if you've got an idea, um, something you want to do, even if if you're not completely sure of what you want to do, but you want to do something, if you're an action person and you want to get out there and start doing, and, and um, we'll see what the possibilities are. And, and we've definitely got something um, that we can offer you. Yeah, there's no obligation to chat. We don't mind if you say yes. We don't mind if you say no. We're simply happy to share what we can do together, what we feel will work. And this is our system. I'm going to be very clear. This is a system Campbell and I are setting up. There's a few other people working with us. We want to be successful. We want to make a nice community. We want to love you. We want to be loved. Campbell and I have been figuring our way through this. We're happy to share what we figured out. We're happy for your input and your experience and your intelligence as well. We figure together we'll be stronger than apart. It's the old Zen saying, maybe it's a parable. Maybe it's Kung Fu, I'm not sure. One arrow, easy to break. A whole bunch of arrows, harder to break. That's how the monsters take over the world. They act together, armies, police, politicians, all in cahoots, you know, moving in one direction. So as we can do that as well, but in the, with better people for better reasons, we will also be unstoppable, unbreakable, and our destiny could be unavoidable. But it's not going to happen without some effort. So have an amazing day, guys. Thanks for uh, joining us. And you'll find all the links below. Uh, click on them and let's chat. Can't make me lie, lie to my heart. No one tells me where I should start. Freedom first is what I say.